G'day guys and welcome back to One and Sons Garage. Now today I'm going to show you how to restore the faded and oxidized headlights on your car. Today we'll be doing it on our 2002 Honda CRV. When I bought the car it had very orange, yellow oxidized headlights and cutting it for me driving to work in the morning. The lights aren't working like they should be, um, it's not producing as much light and they look ugly as hell. That's not the best looking car in the world, but yeah, we are making it look a lot better and the best thing you can do to add value and make your car look a lot newer um, and more presentable is restoring your headlights. You can see how bad it is. It doesn't actually look too bad on camera, I saw, but you can see along the top here it looks very orange, it looks very hazy, it's not clear at all. So today I'm going to do a before and an after on how to restore your headlights. Now this is very simple and straightforward, it will only take about 10 or 15 minutes. Now I've got this armor roll kit from Super Cheap Auto, headlight restoring kit, it comes with everything you need, it comes with a buffing pad, it comes with six abrasive buff buffing discs, it comes with one hundred and eighteen milliliter uh, headlight polish cream and one one hundred and eighty milliliter headlight lubricant cream as well. So all these here, uh, we've just done the other headlight, the driver's side, and it's come up mint. Unfortunately, it had a little bit of water inside the headlight that we've got to go back and probably reseal and dry that out. But the clarity of the headlight has come back absolutely mint. Um, we're really impressed with that. Um, the other things we'll need is a microfiber cloth to be able to polish the headlight um, and then buff it afterwards as well and they also recommend cleaning a headlight before so we've just got a wash bucket some just water no suds um, and we're just going to give that a quick clean wipe down and some masking tape now if you do have our bumpers not the best condition but i will be masking the bumper off and the side of the car as well where the paint is <coughs> just so we don't get any overspray on the bumper and guards if you guys want to protect those so make sure you get some masking tape mask all these edges off as best you can it's not a big deal it's not too big a deal but the less work we've got to put in later on the better so let's go here clean the headlight and then we can start the process of actually polishing and restoring the headlight It's also very important after you wash your headlight to make sure you drive all surfaces so it's got a nice base to stick to. Now after it's all dry you can apply your masking tape. I'm just going to go around all these edges, especially on the painted surfaces on this guard. Just make sure all these edges are nicely taped up so we're not going to get any of the restoration kit onto the paintwork. And if we do, we can clean it off later, but that's just more work in the long run. Now after you've got it all nicely masked off as best you can or as best you want to, get your headlight polish cream, removes yellow haze and oxidation, restores clarity and restaining. Now you're going to give that a bit of a shake up and get your mi microfiber towel and just put a few dabs inside the towel. And like everything, you just want to work in small areas at a time. And just reapply when you need to.
you can already see that difference between before and after. It's really big, a big difference. Now that's all done, it's nice and clear, it's time to get it on and use our headlight lubricant spray. Now they recommend using all three of these kind of buffing pads in correlation with this little buffing pad. Uh, now I only use the first two. Um, I don't really think it really matters too much. They want to use this Astract one first. So we'll grab that one. Pop it on there, just sticks on. Shake your headlight lubricant spray up. Give it a couple real quick sprays on there. Now if anything with spray and lube and stuff you want to make sure it continues being lubed up so you're not actually scratching the headlight itself. And we'll just go along and kind of polish it in. All the grit. Off this first one we used you can actually see all the grit and crap that it's taking off the headlight so it's pretty much it's kind of like clay barring your headlight um, in a way um, to an extent or like wet sanding in a way um, and then we're going to go along and polish it out afterwards. So after a couple passes we'll spray a bit more of that on and we'll just go around the bottom and then after a few passes after you can feel some grits gone off it Take that one off, put one of the round pads on. And repeat the process again. After a few passes, more spray. Take the round one off and put the octagon one on and this would be the last one when that's all done you can't feel any more abrasions and the actual surface feels nice and smooth you can go along with your microfiber cloth and just wipe it off As you can see it seems a bit more oxidised now and there's a few little things on the headlight there. Now the last step is you're going to grab your headlight polish cream again. And buff it back in. And that's pretty much trying to seal it up. and buff it off. Voila, you got brand new headlights. You can see the difference of where I've polished it and it's nice and smooth instead of abrasive to where I haven't. And it's beautiful. So that's pretty much it for today guys. I'll finish this off and I'll show you a quick before and after, but that's pretty much it for today. I hope this video has helped you restore the headlights on your car. Maybe add a bit of value if you want to sell it um, or you're not passing um, a war on fitness or RWC. Sometimes you can fail uh, a warrant of fitness or an RWC depending on where you are in the world um, on at the clarity of your headlight so this might have helped you pass those might have helped you just um, have better headlights um, in the morning or at night time and be a bit safe on the roads um, and it might actually make your car look a lot better in your as well instead of spending a couple hundred dollars on brand new headlights so that's pretty much it um, I'll leave a link in the description um, to the Armoral headlight restoration kit this is from super cheap auto really easy it's about $44 they can go on special or if you're in other countries, they might be have a sort of the same sort of brand, or you might be able to order this online. Not 100% sure. But I hope this video has helped you restore the headlights on your car, whatever it might be. Um, if it hasn't, uh, I'm sorry, but if it has, please hit the like and subscribe button um, and leave a comment. I'd love to know how bad your headlights were to what they are now. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.